The question for day seven of RPG a day for 2017 isn't fooling around. That's happening on Monday, so you know we're serious. The question is to describe an impactful RPG session. The question itself says the most impactful. If this is your first time going through RPG a day, that might be easier than those of us who've gone through it a couple of times. We've kind of brought out some of these stories before and I don't want to repeat myself. So I'm going to dig a little deeper into an answer which is a very strong RPG memory and one which had a significant influence on how I ended up conducting my life. And what makes that more significant to me is that the character that is responsible for the sort of introspection and alteration of my viewpoint was never intended to be around for very long. It was a character I put together in case a new chronicle I was joining, a vampire chronicle set in Chicago, in the using the actual Chicago by night. I created it so that I could play in it and be easily added or allowed to exit uh, if it turned out that my work schedule and other uh, responsibilities didn't let me play as a full-time member. Now, pretty soon after I'd created the character, I realized I would be able to play. And so, you know, I wanted to play something a little more satisfying for me in terms of, you know, hitting all the buttons of what I wanted to play a vampire for. But there was something about this, this temporary character I had created that was getting under my skin. I found that when playing the character, the way that the character sheet informed me of how to play was taking me in directions I had never gone to before as a role player. And while I had played that clan before, and while I'd had access to those uh, disciplines before, and certainly had access to that array of skills before, this character was nothing I'd ever played before. And he had something to say. And of course, that means that I had something to say, that this character was tapping into thoughts and feelings which hadn't quite reached the surface level, but something was was bubbling up inside, and it wanted out. It needed expression, and the situation provided by Chicago by Night with its stratified society and its limitations and its powerful elders and its overarching sense of frustration, if you play it, way, way down at the bottom levels of the generations among the Anarchs, it really comes out. And so this character had a profound impact. This short-term character had a profound impact and in a sense was a part of me holding my fist up to the sky into the world and saying, I reject what you consider to be normal. I oppose. And so strongly did this character bring these feelings out that, of course, he drove the powers that be in the city to drive him to extinction. And normally, as a player, that is a fate that I have tended to avoid. I have found a way to extricate myself. I've fled the scene. I have adopted new personas and new identities. And certainly those skills were within the the grasp of this character, but instead this character stood his ground. Possibly because I had always intended to replace him anyway, but possibly because those are the words which in the moment came out of my mouth. Standing face to face with the enforcer of the Camarilla. Giving the opportunity to recant, giving the opportunity to repent, given the opportunity to run. He stood his ground and demanded into the face of power. If you cannot stand what I represent, then end me now, or know that I will be the face of your new world. And considering that this character was a Samdi, imagine what that face would have been. A change so profound that those elders of the Camarilla and the people behind them that they are a thin metaphor for could never possibly recognize or accept. Day eight is coming and day eight's question asks us to look in a different direction. It asks us about an RPG that we think would be good for really short sessions, like sessions of two hours or less, something that would be appropriate for hangouts or 
you know, among those people who have very, very busy lives and very little time to play. What would be a great RPG that can enable you to get as much done as you need in two hours, or at least gives you a sense of a complete experience within two hours or less? I look forward to hearing your answers tomorrow as we get into the second week of RPG A Day for 2017. RPG A Day is an instant and delicious meal needing a single ingredient, you.